Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so I'm up early for a change on my day off, and uh, figured I'd make a video because I got uh, some running around and stuff to do later. So um, recently, I said I was stringing up my vapor because I finally got my uh, my uh, DMG mesh, and I don't say finally as if I was like waiting forever because I really wasn't. But uh, I I ended up stringing it that day, played around with it a little bit, and uh, I was going to put the video up the same night and kind of got sidetracked. So um, I figured I would add it in. So here it is. I know it looks pretty sick. Um, some of you guys might have just gotten a little chub, but uh, yeah, it's it's nice. The mesh it has a nice hold to it. Um, great feel. And uh, I decided to do the tri top. I don't really do tri tops very often, um, just because I find them somewhat pointless. And uh, I just thought, you know, it kind of works. Um, I figured with the uh, the theme I had going on, I throw a little gray in there, and it worked. And sorry if I accidentally looked like I flipped you off because I pointed it with my middle finger, and I didn't realize I did it at the time. So. Um, Aside from that, I uh, went with the red and black, like my uh, college colors, and uh, basically created a father and son moment. It's pretty funny. But uh, <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of cool, and kind of like that movie Twins with uh, Danny DeVito and uh, Schwarzenegger, where like one twin was huge, the other twin was like a little guy. So. That's kind of why I did that, and uh, as you know, my Black Widow is on a titanium shaft, so this guy got put on my Titan Pro, and uh, it's a well-balanced, great, great feel, and uh, basically what I tried to do with the pattern was uh, recreate the pocket I put into this, um, my Evo X6, which, and looking at it, I think I did pretty well. well this one's a little higher, but uh, it's okay. Because when I put this pocket higher, what I'll do is uh, switch it up a little bit, the lower part of the pattern. But once I pounded it in, it's basically the same. And, I mean, this mesh also shifts a little bit. It's a thing with like 20D. You get, or um, not 20D, but uh, 20 millimeter. You kind of get a little bit more of a almost flexible, shiftier pocket, kind of like a uh, a traditional, um, like a PETA or, or standard traditional. Um, they kind of give you that uh, you know nice, nice hold, real, real nice feel, and uh, you know stuff like that. So, figure everybody likes the channel shot. That's what I came up with. When I put the channel a little higher. It um, it ended up you know being a little wider, and then I tried another pattern. It was too tight through through this region, so um, the ball was getting stuck. So I kind of played around with it. That's like the third trial there. So um, otherwise, uh, in other news, I I did my Mesa mesh review and uh, finally strung it up and took it outside. It's snowing today, so I did a little cold weather performance and um, you know, just regular throwing. And uh, although Mesa Mesh, once it's strung up, looks sick, um, it also has a softer feel to it. And uh, at first I almost thought my pattern was going to end up being a little too whippy, but uh, it works just fine. I, I like it a lot. It did flake a little more while I was stringing it, but it, it wasn't like a um, disaster piece like uh, some other meshes, like Mark Mesh and stuff like that, where like you go and stretch it and then your black shorts are white, or it looks like somebody snowed indoors on you. Um, it's not that bad. There is some flaking, which um, he admits to. He says he's still working a little bit on the goalie formula. But um, it's still a, a work in process. Well, 
Um, I've been giving him my feedback here and there about it. Um, the more I use it, the more feedback I get. So um, I think I'm definitely liking it so far. Um, the colors are true to what it's supposed to be, and uh, the argyle looks sick. And I, I really like how this middle dot right here, or the uh, middle diamond, ends up right in the middle of my pocket. It just, it's kind of cool. It's almost like a bullseye. You know, you got the black on the outer part of the diamond, and then there's that one red diamond right in the middle of the pocket. So, um, this came out really cool. I mean, down here where I cinched it for the uh, bottom string, it looks all bunched up, but oh well, it can't be perfect all the time. So, um, yeah, it's my same pattern I use with all of my sticks. So, as you know, it's going to have a sick, sick channel. Um, very nice. And then, uh, pocket wise, that's huge. And this thing isn't even fully broken in yet. So, um, I, I have a feeling I've created another monster. I mean, it's. It's almost out of camera view, and like, yet the pocket is still, like, in view. It's crazy. But, um, the shaft I have it on, it's a, uh, oh, crap, almost knocked over some other stuff. It's a Swizzle Scandium. Um, not bad. I got a nice little tape job. Um, I will sell this shaft if anybody's interested. It does have some minor scraping. Which is why, understandably, I would take some of the price off of a regular swivel scandium. Because, for two reasons. The scraping on the paint job, and uh, it's also cut down. So, it's a 35-inch shaft. So, if you are interested, uh, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll hook you up with a deal. Um, otherwise, Operation Shield is uh, somewhat in effect. I, I think I'm going to pick one up. I'm more and more I hear feedback from it. I'm thinking about it. And then um, I picked up a sh uh, surgeon in a, um, in a trade. So looks pretty awesome. Minor scoopies on that side, but nothing too horrible. Um, and through a Facebook bet, um, I decided to do my put up or shut up series. Um, some guys have been saying that it's possible to have low whip, high hold pocket. Last time I knew, whip and hold go together. You can't have one without the other. So um, I think what they're talking more about with hold is ball retention, like while they're while they're cradling with it, the ball doesn't come out easily. It just stays in here. And uh, what I always knew of as hold is when you hold your stick vertically, and it's the time that it takes, or if the ball gets hung up any in the pocket before it falls out. So I always thought that was hold. And, I mean, if you're shooting and you like whip, basically this reaction of coming over the top, it creates the same or similar reaction to when you go like do this. So how you could have high whip or high hold low whip is just mind blowing. So in my put up or shut up series I put together a full kit mesh, shooters, sidewall, everything in this kit and I basically said alright if you think you can accomplish it I'll ship my head out to you, you string it up, and I'll do my video review of it. So, um, I may be proven wrong, or the other people may look like idiots. But, um, either way, I'm scientifically approaching this thought process. So, um, I guess uh, with that being said, I will uh, talk to you guys later and um, run over to the post office. So, uh, Also, what I forgot to mention is with the Mesa mesh, I would recommend it as well as the DMG mesh. Um, 
some people say it, it's uh it's poop but um i kind of like it so um it really depends like as far as what people say is uh is poop and what's good um like i mean everybody every player is different so every player is going to want something different out of their materials so um opinions you know that's it's just that it's somebody's opinion you know you can't really like hate on them for an opinion so um anyway i like it hopefully you guys like it um mace mesh dmg mesh uh they're right up there with a lot of the other quality meshes so um i would say uh pick it up give it a try i'm actually thinking of getting some uh mesa mesh for a short stick so um I picked another one up in a trade, traded a boatload of mesh and stuff to a guy. So he's sending me a pretty sweet head. So, um, yeah. So I'm uh, going to talk to you guys later. And, um, yeah, if you guys were wondering my website, YouTube doesn't allow me to actually comment my website. But um, it is a big cartel. And my business name is Madlack Strings and Sales. So if you go over there, that's me. Um, or I'm also on Facebook. Mad like strings, all one word, space and space sales. So if you type that in, you should find me. It's a picture of my helmet. And then just go like the page. Alright? I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And uh, click the ads. Um, Google was very good to me this month and uh, sent me a check. So that's why Operation Shield may be in effect. So, um, otherwise, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.